Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have something a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about my favorite photo cards from 2023. And I apologize if I sound a little bit different today. I've been sick for like the past week and a half and I feel like I'm still pretty congested, but you know, we're getting over it. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, today let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna talk about these cards in like a random order. There's kind of a lot because I had a hard time narrowing it down, <laughs> not gonna lie. But really, I tried to pick like at least one or like a couple cards from kind of everything that I collect. So yeah, there's a lot, <laughs> but let's go ahead and get started. So first up, I have these two cards from Le Seraphim. By the way, I'm gonna be keeping the cards sleeved just because I did take them out of my binders and everything and it's just a hassle to unsleeve them. So first up, we have this Yunjin and Unche like unit card from Unforgiven. This is the Weaver's version, I believe. And it's just so freaking cute with the little Shibas. I love it so much. Like genuinely one of my favorite cards like ever. And then this one is the from the water bottle like compact card set, I think. So I think this is my favorite like set of cards that they did this comeback. I just think it's really cute. And I love Yunjin's card, so. Next, we have this Taeon card from SMCU. This is technically 2022, but I got it in 2023, so that's why I'm counting it. But yeah, this is one of her cards with zero. It's so cute. I just love it so much. And next, we have this card from Boy Next Door. This is Sungho. So I basically just picked it because he has a teddy bear and it's so cute. I mean, can you tell a theme already of my favorite cards? Next, we have this Ryujin card from Cheshire. I just love it. The glasses, the outfit, the hair, it's everything. And then next, we have this Moonsua card from Billy. She's so cute. This is my favorite card of hers, like, by far. I just love it. Like, the hoodie, the outdoor vibe, it's everything. Up next, we have some... Espa cards, so these two are like KM Station um, pre-order benefits or something, but they're like hollow and they're just so freaking cute. So we have both Karina and Ning Ning. And then I also had to include these. Oh, the glare is horrible. Okay. So these are some of the like US exclusives from this past year from uh, Drama and My World. They're just all so freaking cute. I cannot... And one more Espa card, this Karina S Mini from My World. It's just, it's so cute. Like, one of her best cards, honestly. The pose, the nails, I mean, it's iconic. Next, I have two cards from AT's Yosong. So, first is this album card with the bread. It's, <laughs> I mean, just who would not like this card? I think it's iconic, honestly. Words that you'll probably hear me saying over and over again in this video. Iconic and cute. So, yeah. <laughs> and then this one is a pre-order benefit um, mini record. One of them, I don't know. He's sticking his tongue out and I just, I just thought it was cute. <laughs> Next up, I have some Rise cards. So these are Shotaro. This is his Walmart. No. Is it Walmart? I don't know, it's one of his ex exclusive cards from Get a Guitar. I just love the outdoor vibes and everything, it's really cute. And then this one, this pre-order one of it. Um, I can't think of the store that it's from right now, but I just, I love it so much. Like the shopping bag, the glasses, I, I love it. And then I also wanted to feature this card, this unsock with the basketball. I love it. Basically, if an idol is holding an object, I'm here for it. And then this Anton I had to include because I just, I think it's one of my favorite cards, like probably top 10 from this year. I just, I love the jewels on his face and I mean, it's so cute. Up next for Zero Base One, I picked out this Hanbin card. It's just, it's so cute. The hoodie, I mean...
And then I also wanted to include these. These are like the Make Star Panda cards, <laughs> the little panda hats. You can't really see Juong's very well, but Yibin and Hanbin are showing a little bit more of the panda. It's just, it's so cute. <laughs> so I'll put those all together. And let's see, for EXO, I picked out this Sehun card. I just think it's one of his best cards, honestly, like <laughs> the pose with the glasses. I just, I love it. His cards can be a little boring, not gonna lie, but I really like that one. And then I also picked out some of these Kai photo cards. They are all just so cute. Like this one with the little bear like filter, it's so cute. <laughs> and then this one's also from Rover, the sleeve version. It's like close up, it's... <sighs> and then also this one is from Exist. It's just so cute. Like Kai has some of the best cards, honestly. And next up we have Shiny. So I have these are two of my favorite Taemin cards from this year. This is one of his album cards from Hard. It's so cute. The little bow tie. I just, I love him. Okay, and then this one is the K Down For You pre-order benefit. I just think the pose, I mean, the facial expression, the green jacket, I'm here for it. And then I also really, really love these key photo cards. I just, like this one with the like all the pink colors i mean he just looks so cute and then i also just love this one i think it's like it's so simple but he just i love the dimples and the makeup i just i love it and i had to include this one rocks jinky are you kidding me he's just he's just holding a fistful of rocks <laughs> like top 10 photo card right there for TXT, this is my favorite Yeonjun card by far. I just, the orange hair, the pose, the plaid, the pearls. I just, how can you not love it? And then these are some of my favorite cards from Temptation era. I just, I love these cards they did with like their little animal like figurines. They're so cute. So that one is Yeonjun and then this is a lucky draw, I think, with like the bunny plushie. It's so cute. And I also have these honorary Subin cards because this one is just like, he looks so good with the blonde hair and the necklaces. Like, ah, man. And then this one is just super cute with the little wink and the dimple, the neck tattoos. Next up is 17, so I have quite a couple of cards, um, at least for Dino. So these ones, well I guess three of them, these three are from FML, but I love this one because it's like the beach, the blonde hair, the hollow, like everyone was fighting for their life over this card and I don't blame them. And then these two are just super cute, like the pink hair and the jewels, are you kidding? I've talked about that one before, but yeah. And this one I, just thought, I thought was just really cute with like the plaid little sweater and the coffee cup, he just looks so businessy i love it and then this one with the flower crown it's so cute i just you can probably tell like the common themes of these cards <laughs> okay and then these three i had to pick because of course they're all holding objects <laughs> also hoshi's from um second wind was really fun he's like holding marbles or something but i like these ones better with the little um, is this supposed to be from, like, Toy Story or something? Like, the green dinosaur, Brex? Is that what he's called? And then, <laughs> Pooh Nana, I love it. And then, Koki Wanu, I just... I mean, I couldn't resist. I couldn't say no. I had to include them. And also, this Ming Hao. He's just everything to me. I think all that we have left is NCT, and, um, there's a lot. <laughs> I really had a hard time narrowing these down, like... Just all of this is NCT, if that tells you anything. Can you tell which group I stand the most? Like, okay, so first up, these two Taeyong cards. Like, just, they're just iconic. I mean, this one, the hairstyle. Are you kidding me? And like, wow, he's just crazy. Okay, and then this, I mean, how could I not include Taeyong and Gary? Like, it's, when I saw this card, I just, I needed it so bad and I'm so happy to have it like it's perfect 
And then I also have these cards from Ayo, so like Taeyong with the Butterfly, one of his best cards. And then this is probably my favorite Jungwoo card like to ever exist. I just think it's so cute. And also this Mark, he's so cute. I love when Mark does little like cheek hearts, it's so cute. I also have some cards from Fact Check, so for example, we have this Yuta. I think this is one of his best cards, like truly, he just looks so fancy. Like, he's a member of the Mafia in this photo card. <laughs> and Doyoung, there's quite a few of his cards in here, but these are like truly some of his best cards. Like, I just... <laughs> this I think is his Mumo POV, it's so freaking cute, and then this one, I mean, everybody was going crazy about this card, and especially his, I think his Walmart card looks very similar, so yeah, the internet kind of blew up with those, and then also I had to include this little tail card, because look at him, he's so freaking cute, oh, I love him, okay, and then also this Doyoung card from Golden Age, I think, target exclusive or something i don't know he's so cute and i have a couple more um jungle cards so these two are from or this one's from ayo his make star card i just i love like the pink beanie the colors the hollow love it and this one from perfume i think it's a pob it's so cute <laughs> I couldn't leave out this little unit card of Jungwoo and Doyoung, like my two biases, they're, they're so precious. And then I have these two cards from On My Youth, these are like, hands down, the two best cards from this era. I also really like Ten's diary version, but I don't have it on hand yet, so just have these two for now. And then these are my favorite Golden Age cards, like the Cow Kun card, it's just... It's everything. <laughs> and then Sunset Mark, literally his best card. And this one, Teddy Bear Jamin with the purple overalls, like, oh my god. <laughs> Everybody was going crazy over this card and like, me too. I almost forgot about this card. I don't have it sleeved, but here is one of Taeyong's like Shalala photo cards. So yeah, I mean, I just, I don't even have any words. <laughs> okay, and these are some of my favorite ISTJ cards. These are like their exclusive cards. I think Mark is Walmart and Jenna is the Japan version. They're just like truly, I cannot believe like the Mark license plate. I love it. And this one, literally Jenna's best card. Like I, <laughs> it looks so cute. And using somebody else's hand to like cup his chin. He's so cute. And then these are definitely my favorite ISTJ like album cards. They're just so cute. Like this card, Jisung with the teddy bear. I thought this was going to be so much harder to collect than it was, but it really wasn't too bad. I think I pulled it. I don't remember. And then Jamin, just the pink hair. I mean, <laughs> this era was so good for him. And then I have these two POBs. So Jamin, I mean, with the cat. I had to include it. It's just... And this card, I picked this one because, okay, if you know Chunla, if you collect him, he has, like, the same face in every card. <laughs> but this one, he's kind of making, like, people call it, like, his bread face or whatever. It's just it's so cute. He does, like, this little awkward smile. I love it. And last but not least, we have my favorite 10 photo cards. So, we have, this one is his birthday merchandise photo card. It's just so cute. I think his card is, like, probably one of my favorites out of all of them from 2023. It's so cute. And then this one is one of the, like, NCT Nation trading cards. I've talked about it before, but it's just so cute. I love his pose and the face he's making. It's one of my favorite cards. And let's see, this one is my favorite, I think, like, Golden Age card from Ten. He's just, I think we're finally getting, like, really cute POVs for Ten, and I'm so happy, but also 
they can be so expensive but this one's just so cute i love when he does like little extra hand poses uh, and i loved love 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 loved the blonde hair on him it's so cute okay and this one is by far my favorite card i just it's not focusing <laughs> But look at him like I've talked about this card before I think in the like the video that I hauled it in but it's just it's so cute like genuinely one of my favorite 10 cards like to ever exist I just I love the pose the hairstyle the robe it's so cute yeah so this is probably like my favorite card like of the year I just I'm so happy to have it it was a little expensive but worth it worth every penny in my opinion so yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below, like, what is your favorite photo card of the year? And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!